Hey guys, welcome to Maytech, and today we're going to have a quick look at the Dremo Tool Rotary Station. In the box, you'll find the instruction manual, this cast iron base plate, this telescoping stainless steel rod, the mount for your rotary tool, this lever that lets you lock and adjust the mount up and down vertically on the shaft. Here you have a tool and bit mount. This is the rod holder that holds this rod, which you can hang your tool and flex shaft with. This nut secures the stainless steel shaft to the base, and you also get a wrench that'll let you tighten your rotary tool to the mount. Now I'm going to go ahead and assemble this Dremel workstation. I actually don't have a Dremel brand name rotary tool, but I'm going to go ahead and use this rotary station with my Mastercraft rotary tool here, which does seem to fit okay. I'm going to assume that most rotary tools will fit this workstation, but it's only guaranteed to work with Dremel brand tools. I am going to go ahead and fast forward this process as I think you'll get the gist of this assembly without me having to talk through it. That's all there is to the assembly. Now let's go ahead and look at some of the features. Now the first and most notable feature of this Dremel workstation is it does work like a mini drill press, which we'll test out here in a little bit. It also has a telescoping rod, so you can adjust the position of your work tool and flexi rod if you're using it in that mode. You'll also notice here on the right hand side, there's a little set stop screw that lets you adjust the depth of the drill press. The base also has slots, so you can add yourself a little vise or bolts depending on how you want to hold your material. Now I'll show you how to mount your multi-tool into the Dremel workstation. Simply remove the collet from your multi-tool. Place your multi-tool into this plastic housing. Then tighten by hand the plastic nut at the base of the housing. You can then use the provided wrench to snug the plastic bolt down tight. Let's go ahead and give this drill press a try. Here I have some 1 8 birch plywood and I'm backing it on some MDF. So functioning as a mini drill press, this Dremel workstation seems to work just fine. Another feature I found neat is that you could switch out your drill bit for a little drum sanding bit turning the workstation into a little mini drum sander. So let's give that a test and see how well it works. This seems just fine for sanding little pieces, but you're obviously not going to be able to use it on anything big. Another interesting feature is by loosening this little thumb screw here and this other thumb screw on the other side. This will let you now rotate the housing up to 90 degrees. This gives you the ability to use your drill press on an angle, but also it lets you lock the whole housing on a 90 degrees angle. This lets you work with your rotary tool horizontally for sanding or grinding. The top of the unit contains this little tool tray that lets you store all your favorite bits on top of your station and also gives you a place to store the wrench that locks your rotary tool onto the housing unit. The last cool feature of this workstation is that you have this little hanging bar on top that lets you hang both your rotary tool and your flex hose. This lets you work freehand for both sanding and polishing, and I found it a very convenient feature that they've added. So that's it for my little mini review of this Dremel workstation. If you like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that notification bell to keep updated on all my latest videos.